Welcome, welcome my friends to the Beggars and Brawlers podcast. This is officially episode one, in which I answer basic questions about the podcast, such as, who the hell am I, and what are we doing? So this is a podcast for fans of my books and lovers of fantasy fiction in audio form. I'm a fantasy writer. I've got uh, four books out in my first series, which is called The Resonant Saga, and all of those books are coming out in audio soon. I've also got another series that is launching uh, in the next couple months as I record this, and those will certainly be coming direct to audio. So the idea is I've got this podcast for those of you who don't really want to sit and read things on your phones about the news or information that's coming up, but you want to stay up to date. And as it happens, I've got two books that are available right now in audio form. They're shorter, but they're also free. So the first one is called Urchin's Gambit. That one is free everywhere to everyone. Uh, you can find it on all the major audio retailers. Uh, I'll have links to that in the show notes. Here's the blurb on that one. To get out alive, Elia has to go from prime suspect to lead investigator. When Elia woke up this morning, she thought she was going to pick up the score of black market Yura her gang needed to escape the streets. Instead, she finds her dealer dead and herself arrested as prime suspect. To save herself, she'll not only have to figure out who did it, but convince the consulate investigator holding her chains he can trust her enough to get the job done. Urchin's Gambit, an epic fantasy novella set in the Resonant Saga universe 12 months before the start of Beggar's Rebellion. So we got that one available, um, and we also have one called Assassin's Tribute, uh, which is a favorite of mine that I've written, uh, also set before the beginning of the main series. And that one is free as well, with the hitch that it's only free to people who listen to the podcast and sign up for updates. So you can go to my website, www.levijacobs.com, to find the sign up for that, or you can email me directly at the title of this podcast at Gmail, so beggars, period, and period, brawlers, at levijacobs.com and I will send you a link to get that book for free too. And if you like them, there's more on the way. So this podcast in the meantime is like a front page and a backstage access to my writing. So I'll always have news here first and foremost on the releases that are coming up, on the sales that I'm doing on my books because I do put the backlist on sale fairly regularly um, and my audiobooks are priced reasonably to begin with. And then we've got a bunch of cool stuff that happens too. If you're a fan of the books or you want to know more about them, we do previews of the stuff that I'm writing. I show you deleted scenes from the books that are out. A lot of them are like the very cool scenes that I wish could have been included, but I had to cut for one reason or another. Um, I talk about that kind of thing, about the author side of when you have to cut stuff that you love and how I create these worlds to begin with. And I have giveaways as well. And I talk about life as a writer, which I take to be fairly normal, uh, but I know a lot of people find interesting. So it's kind of a hodgepodge, but um, it's always focused on my books and the fiction that's coming out. Um, so if you like them, this is a good place to be. For those of you who don't necessarily know me, even though you've read some of my books, uh, I also wanted to introduce myself a bit on this podcast since it's officially episode one. <laughs> I'm saying officially because I actually put out, I think there's seven before this, but I was kind of finding my feet as a podcaster, so they're a little bit rough around the edges, but uh, you can check those out too. Um, for me, I think I've always been a writer at heart. Uh, when I was a kid, I was the one who was telling stories around the campfire and making up wild things. I discovered fantasy when I was in third grade. I took this accelerated reading class, and we read The Hobbit, which was a big undertaking for a lot of kids, and I think it was for me too but I just loved it. So I continued in the third grade to read The Lord of the Rings um, and to weep uncontrollably at the death of Gandalf. Spoilers! And I just went on from there. And I really went on until I decided I was too cool to read or something. High school is rough for me. So sometime in high school, my reading dropped off and it picked up again in college. But by then, I'd read The Wheel of Time and all the David Eddings and all the very cool fantasy of the 90s. So in my 20s, I ended up uh, traveling a lot and and writing kind of chased me around through all of that. Um, I wrote a lot of travel logs about my time in Vietnam and working on this cruise ship that went around the world. And um, at a certain point, I'd been living in Japan for a number of years, and I decided I was moving to Uganda. And uh, my other artistic passion had always been music, 
And in Japan, I'd pursued both of them. I was writing really regular blogs and loving it. And I was also writing music and I put out an album. And in thinking about moving to Uganda and thinking about limited luggage space on the way there, I made the decision to bring my computer and not my guitar. And that was basically me deciding I'm going to give this writing thing a real shot. And I think I'm going to let guitar playing be a hobby. And uh, that's informed me ever since. That was 10 years ago now or more. And I've been a writer. So I wrote a lot of blogs in Uganda. I think there's a there's a book there waiting to happen. Um, and then I went to grad school back in the U.S. And it became very clear within the first few months of grad school, which was the hardest thing I had done to date, that uh, I loved working that hard. But what I really wanted to work that hard at was writing fiction, not learning anthropology. I ended up sticking with the degree, but the second that I could get out of it, I didn't go on to a PhD. I, I finished with a master's. And I moved into my friend's laundry room. We did take the uh, washer and dryer out, but I moved into that tiny little cupboard for cheap rent and started writing. But the uh, the poverty was very difficult for me. <laughs> so the other kind of talking point about me is that after the first couple years of that, I started this very strange business to support me until, until the writing did, which is selling fresh fruit uh, in the summer. So I do this thing where I drive to the fruit orchards and I buy fruit from direct from the growers and then I take it back and I set up a fruit stand and I sell it and believe it or not um, that pays the bills or at least it gets close enough that uh, my wife's income covers the rest and I can happily write eight months a year and you know at the fruit stand I usually have a few of my books up there and I have a standing promise to any fan who finds me and who has come for the books and not the fruit that you get free signed books for showing up so Come and try to find me in the wilds of North Dakota. So in the years since then, I moved from writing short stories to writing novels. My first book was Conan Fan Fiction, and then I wrote a post-apocalyptic sci-fi novel under a pen name, which you can find on Amazon. Uh, It's called Ake, A-C-H-E, under a pen name Kelvin Myers. And then I started writing The Resonance Saga, and that series has defined my career so far. The first book was a finalist in Mark Lawrence's self-published fantasy blog off which is a pretty big contest in the indie fantasy world and there are four of them out now they've also won some awards with some local writing contests and people like them so you can check those out like i said they'll be in audio format very soon and in the background i've been writing other novels that start series um, and some of those have been shopped around to the major publishers and there may always be more news about that that's always going on in the background but in the meantime I will keep publishing things so you can keep reading them and publishing them in audiobook form so you don't have to sit down and listen to them because I'm a big lover of podcasts and audiobooks while I'm driving or washing the dishes or occasionally the guilty pleasure of listening to them while watching my children (laughs) who are uh, two and ten months old as I record this. So I'm not a full-time author yet, but uh, my first and foremost goal has always been to find readers and it has been such a joy to do that and i'm hoping that this podcast helps me connect with you a little bit better helps um, me find some new readers and for the readers who are interested to get a little deeper into my worlds um, and into what it's like to be a writer so welcome to the podcast uh you can expect an episode from me every two weeks you can sign up for those updates on my website or at beggars period and period brawlers at gmail.com and i will send you that second audio novella which is only available to people who do subscribe Um, and it's a pretty sweet story i think for more info about me you can also look around on the blog there's a on the website there's a pretty big blog there Um, there's that backlog of episodes i mentioned on the podcast feed and you can always email me and say what's up i love hearing from listeners i'm not going to say that email address again because it's long you heard it (laughs) so in the meantime go check out those books Or uh, send me an email if you've listened to Urchin's Gambit and you are interested in Assassin's Tribute, and I'll get you signed up. I need to get back to the book in progress, which is Daughter of Flood and Fury. We just figured out the series name last night with the help of some of my author friends. It's going to be called The Tidecaller Chronicles. So this is book number one of what I think is going to be nine books. So I hope you like them. Um, I really love this book, and that'll be coming out in a couple months in audio form. So I hope this podcast finds you well and reading great books. Till next time. For more information on Levi Jacobs and his books, including the award-winning Beggar's Rebellion, visit www. 
www.levijacobs.com. Or for a free Resonant Saga audiobook, only available to podcast listeners, send him an email at beggars.and.brawlers at levijacobs.com. Thanks for listening, and read on. Read on.